60 is not as old as it used to be. In fact, 60 isn't actually old at all. But the fact is, no matter how young we feel, time catches up with all of us. And we're talking about AMD this morning, age-related macular degeneration. It's the number one cause of blindness in people over the age of 60, and women are more likely to suffer than men. Truly a scary prospect. So what exactly is it? How do we prevent it? So many questions to be answered. And to fill us in on those answers as part of our My Health series is ophthalmologist Dr. Lawrence Halperin. Good morning, doctor. Good morning. How are you? Thanks for being here. I'm doing great. Thank you. Now, let's talk about age-related macular degeneration. What exactly is this? So, Krista, the macula is the center of the retina, which is the film for the eye, and it's where we get our vision. Our ability to see detail, to read, to drive, all comes from the macula. Macular degeneration is a genetic process of aging of the macula and that leads to damage and loss of vision. So if left untreated, what does it look like? Left untreated, you can see from the example on the screen, uh -huh. it can cause loss of central vision and a dark spot right in the middle of your vision. So if you look at someone's face, you can see their hair and ears and chin, but you can't see the middle of their face where their features are. Oh my goodness. So it can be very serious. So someone who has AMD, what challenges do they face? Difficulty reading, okay. inability to drive, and it threatens their independence. And what, uh, what risks are we talking about in terms of knowing that you have AMD? Is there something that you can look back in your history? So there's a couple things. First of all, there's genetics. Okay. If you have a family history of macular degeneration of anybody in your family, aunts, uncles, grandparents, then you're definitely at risk. Really? And there's findings if you go to an eye care professional, they can look in your eye and tell you if you're starting to develop the earliest signs of, ma of age-related macular degeneration. Is there something that even myself, I can do to see if well, I'm even nearing that? Well, one of the things that you can do is check your vision in each eye separately, let's say once a week, or women probably do it every day when you once put on a makeup. Week? Check once a week? Once a week, cover up each eye one at a time, and make sure that there's no blurred vision and that straight lines, like the edge of a door or the edge of a piece of paper, doesn't have a wave or a distortion in it, because that would be the earliest signs of, macular, of wet macular degeneration. But we would like to prevent people from getting to the wet kind okay. by identifying early on right. if they're having the early signs of the dry kind of macular degeneration, which is the early steps of the aging process, because there's things that we can do to help to prevent progression. Now, is there a cure? So there's no cure, okay. but there's ways to reduce the risk. And how do we do that? So there's many things that we can do. Um, staying thin, exercise, healthy diet, lots of dark greens, low fat diet, okay. no smoking. Everyone knows they shouldn't smoke, and you can add this on to the pile of reasons. Macular degeneration is badly affected really? by smoking, absolutely. Have there studies been done? There are studies, so there's been national studies that large practices like mine have participated in to show that there are certain vitamins and minerals that can help to reduce the risk of dry macular degeneration progressing to the wet. So when you go to your eye care professional, they'll tell you if you have the earliest findings of macular degeneration, and they may tell you, look, you need to go on a vitamin to reduce the risk of progression. Vitamins with vitamin C and E and zinc, beta carotene, lutein, which is a food pigment, can all be prepared in one vitamin that's easy to take and it's very, very safe. So supplements, eye supplements like these, eye supplements can like really, these really make a difference. Can really make a difference in reducing the risk of progression. And how do they work in terms of, you know, keeping that from getting worse and worse and worse? Exactly. So there's a natural progression of macular degeneration from the dry kind to the dry kind getting worse 
or turning into the wet kind. And the research trials that were done by the National Eye Institute show that taking vitamins like these reduce the risk of going from the dry to the wet. Excellent information. Doctor, thank you so much. Thank you very much for having me. I really appreciate your time. And for our viewers out there, if you want more information about AMD and what you can do to possibly help prevent it, visit iCapsVitamins.com.